Hi there, I'm Mitch, the CEO here at JoinIt. We've helped over 1,800 organizations sell more than $75 million in membership sales with our simple yet powerful solution called JoinIt. Now, let's be honest, everyone tells you that their software is the easiest to use, but for me, seeing is believing. So I'm gonna give you a quick demo of our membership management software. Let's dive in. Let's start with the very basics first. Go to joinit.com and click here to sign up. So once you've signed up, there's gonna be two onboarding steps waiting for you. You can skip ahead if you want, but it's gonna be a lot smoother for you if you confirm and fill them out. The most important part of the first onboarding step is to confirm the currency of your organization and select the language for your member portal. Then for onboarding step two, you set up your first membership type. This can be skipped, but since it's easy to do, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it out. Here I'm creating a membership type that's called basic membership. It costs $10 and it automatically rebuilds every year. If you're into the real nitty gritty, there's advanced options where you can select things like different registration types, display settings, and much more. But let's stick with the basics and get this created. You can always come back to edit it later. And after this step is done, you'll be taken to the dashboard. Here, you'll be prompted to set up your organization. If I were to go through setup myself, I'd create the additional membership types, I'd set up the custom fields, I'd import my members, and then I'd connect it to my website. Now, I'm not gonna make you sit through all that, so let's go to a setup account so we can see the software in action. And done. Now, here's a dashboard that's fully set up. Now, let's talk about membership types. Go to members and then membership types. Each organization has its own unique setup. So we built our membership types to be powerful and flexible to match your needs. Previously, I showed you how to create your first membership type during the onboarding. In this section, you can add existing membership types with this button. Since we've already set up this account, Let's dive into an existing membership type and see the settings under there. Under each membership type, you can edit the pricing and duration so you can customize the billing behavior for memberships that fall under this membership type. For example, your membership type can be a one-time payment that lasts for a lifetime, or it can be a recurring monthly payment. All those settings belong here. Under these settings, there's also a way to include the benefits of this membership type. You can include the benefits here as structured information so they're displayed to prospective members on your checkout page or to existing members within the member portal. Moving on to the next section, you can customize the members only information. This will customize the message that's displayed on the confirmation page and when your members log in to the member portal. Additionally, you can customize the body of the membership confirmation email. These powerful tools can be combined to make sure your members receive the right message at the right time. There are more complex settings here, like setting up the question form to determine which information is collected from your members and renewal settings but we're not gonna dive into those now. Now that we've discussed adding and editing membership types and details, let's go and add your first member. There are several ways a member can join your organization. They can register themselves through your member portal, or we can help with a bulk import, or you can register them through the org dashboard, which is exactly what we're gonna cover right now. To create your first membership record in your org dashboard, go over to members, add member. This will pull up a form that has a lot of options. Now over here, select the membership type, the quantity, and the associated payment whether it's an offline payment, an online payment, or no payment collected. Then we just add the member info, and I'll create a sample membership really quick to show you how easy it is. We click add member, and done. It's really that simple. Now this membership record has been created, and it's stored with all your essential information in your member database, including a timeline of them joining. And even after that membership record has been created, you can edit and update those membership settings whenever you need to. Just point and click. As you can see, we try to make every user interaction as simple and intuitive as possible. So if you need to update member information, just click on it, update the information, and then click save. The membership record also offers shortcuts, like sending emails directly to members, but we'll go into this later. Now that you have a few membership records in your account, let's go over the members table. The members table is available from the dashboard under the members tab, and then click view members. The members table is a central hub for your organization. It allows you to see all your members in one place. You can also filter by membership type, membership status, the date they joined, or their expiration date. Or you can combine these filters for more advanced segments. Additionally, you can do a detailed search here. Now that we've covered what I consider to be the foundations of the platform, setting up your first membership type, creating your first membership records, and the members table, we're gonna go into some of the utilities and the tools in the nav bar before we switch to the member experience. First up, we have automations. This section contains our integrations with other platforms. Here you'll find you're able to connect Stripe, MailChimp, Eventbrite, and so much more. Next up is our communication section. Here you'll find tools like Quick and Easy Email, which allow you to send out email blasts to segments of members or to individual members with just a few clicks. Also under this section, you'll find automated emails, 
Here you have the ability to edit and manage different email templates that are automatically triggered at different membership lifecycle events, like when someone joins or renews. This is a powerful tool that will save you a ton of time. Next, we have our event section. Here you can create event listings that are synced to your member portal, or you can connect to external ticketing providers like Eventbrite or VenuePilot. In the finances section, you can check membership payments, recent payouts, or edit your financial settings, including setting up taxes or offline payments. Next, we have our insights tab. In this section, you'll find metrics, which provide you with charts and graphs to help you monitor the metrics of your organization. Next, we have an extensive reporting section, which allows you to customize reports, giving you further access to exportable data and additional analysis. And there are even powerful automated reports that can be set up to be delivered to your inbox every week or every month. And lastly, we have the settings section where you can invite additional admins, view your billing, or adjust your organization settings. Now, I'm gonna take you back to the dashboard. So far, we've gone over all the tools that are provided to you in your backend as an admin of this organization but there's a whole nother part to the software, which is the member portal. So let's go over the member experience. Each organization has its own dedicated member portal within our software. To find it, click over here and it'll open up a new tab. This simple portal can be used by organizations to direct prospective members to learn more about the organization. Select from available membership types and then check out. And each membership type comes with its own checkout link. So if you wanna skip the profile completely and send prospective members directly to the checkout page with a deep link, that's an option for integration as well. Now let's say we wanna join this organization through the member portal as an example. First, click the membership type, then fill out any questions in the question form. If there's a payment, you would have taken care of that here and then click join. See, it really is that quick and easy. As soon as this process, the member will be taken to the order confirmation page. Here, the member has the ability to see the newly created membership record through the member portal. As an org admin, you have the option to customize this page. You can embed a video, upload images, or just add text with helpful information. And members have the ability to log into this member portal at any time. Here, they can manage their membership. They can update their contact details, update their payment method, renew their membership, or even cancel the membership if that setting is allowed by your organization. Now let's briefly talk about the user experience of an existing member that comes back to your member portal to log in. We provide you with a direct link to the member login, but if they end up on the front of your profile, they just have to click here. This login page handles all the complicated scenarios. For example, if it's their first time, we'll ask them to just confirm their email address and set a password. If they're a returning user, then we'll just prompt them to log in. Now, as you can see, I'm a returning user. It recognized my email address, so logging in was dead simple. And that's it for today's demo. If you have specific questions, we'd love to schedule a live demo with you. You can use the booking link in the description of this video. And on this channel, we talk all things membership. So I'd love for you to subscribe and follow along. I'll see you on the next video.